In this GoPro tips and tricks video, we're gonna make a tripod mount out of the base plate that our camera came mounted on when we bought it. To build this mount, we're gonna need the base plate that our camera came mounted on, a quarter by 20 inch nut, a hot glue gun, some kind of tape that we can put over top of the nut to stop uh, glue from getting inside it, as well as use to uh, block off those gaps inside the mount to stop hot glue from getting into there. And then we're gonna need some kind of saw to cut out the center part of this mount once we're finished. So that could be something like a jigsaw or a Dremel. And then if you wanna finish it off really nicely, you could use a file to make it look really nice and professional when we're finished. To get started, we're gonna take a little piece of this painter's tape, place it over top of our nut. Then we're gonna grab our box cutter and just slice around the outside edge of the painter's tape. So that all we have left when we're done is a little piece of tape covering the hole so that glue cannot get inside it. Then we're going to do something very similar with the two gaps on the base of the mount. With all that done, we can place our nut right into the center of our mount. And then we can grab our glue gun and just start to fill this gap with glue. The goal is to fill the entire empty ditch or that uh, cutout behind the GoPro mount with glue so it'll be flush with the surface when we're finished and flush with the bolt. The bolt is surprisingly just about the right size of the same depth as the cutout is. We now just have to wait for the hot glue to cool and our mount will be just about finished. As the hot glue is cooling, you can use your finger to just kind of work it around a little bit and make sure that it's completely full and there's no air bubbles in there and also just kind of smooth out the surface if you've got some wrinkles or some high spots while you were filling it with glue. Once the glue has fully cooled, we can go ahead and grab the cutting utensil that we're gonna be using to cut out our mount. In my case, I'm gonna be using a little jigsaw, but if you guys want to use a Dremel with a cutting wheel, if you've got one of those, that would do a very quick and nice job. Once that's done, we can grab our file and just kind of smooth out that edge so it looks really nice, smooth, and professional. And then finally, if there's any trimming that needs to be done with excess glue around the mount, so we can use a nice, sharp X-Apto knife to finish that off. The final thing I did, and this is optional, however, I really do recommend doing it, was to take a lighter and just heat up the exposed hot glue on the bottom of the mount. What this did was re-liquify the little bit of hot glue on that outside layer and smooth out the entire bottom of the mount. This really made the bottom look professional, smooth, and well finished compared to the rough, jagged finish that it had after cutting off the excess with the X-Apto knife. That's our mount finish, so now all that's left to do is to put our mount into use. We're going to use the Joby Action tripod here, put the base plate from it, so we're going to flip our new custom GoPro tripod mount over, put down the base plate, screw it in, just like that, then clip it onto our Joby tripod. With that complete, we can go ahead and just slide our camera into the base plate. Just like that, we've made a DIY GoPro tripod mount using nothing but the base plate that came with our GoPro in the packaging and a quarter by 20 inch bolt. This is a super, super cheap way to make yourself a tripod mount, something that should be in everyone's GoPro kit bag. Thank you guys for watching. This was another DIY GoPro tips and tricks video. If you guys have enjoyed it, please make sure you check out my channel for a ton more videos. Like the video and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I do read all of the comments that are down there and respond to as many of them as I can. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.